In the data board, you can specify what is the default format for columns so that when you add them to new charts, you won't have to manually modify the format each time. In the logistics data set, let's modify the format of the date column. To do so, click on the gear icon next to the name of the column and select Edit Default Format. A modal pops up and we can choose whether we want to have the name of the month in long or short format, the weekday displayed or not, and 24 hours or AM PM format. If we want a purely numerical date format, we can select the order of the days and months in which separator to use. After we're done, click on Confirm to save changes. As an example of numerical values, we can modify the default format of the passenger's column. There, we can specify that the full number be displayed, that it be expressed as a percentage or to shorten it using SI prefixes, such as M for million. In the format selector, we can specify whether to use commas or dots as the decimal separator. And finally, we can select the precision. Note that for both dates and numerical columns, if the format is left in auto, this will automatically adapt to the dashboard's locale, where the year, day, and month will be shown in the order of that locale, and the decimal separator and thousand separator will also follow the conventions of the locale. We can also modify the title of a column to have a user-friendly name or specify the translation for different languages. To do so, we first make sure we have the language we want to edit selected, and then we select the column title we want to change. For example, we can change port to city. All graphs where this column is added after this change will use this name as its label. Furthermore, we can achieve a fully multilingual dataset by specifying the translations for the values within a hierarchy column. To do this, after selecting the language to translate to, for example Spanish, click on the settings icon to the right of the country column and select Edit Hierarchy. Then, click on the value you wish to change and type in the new values. The values are then automatically saved, so after finishing, we can click on the closing icon and see the result.